Well, we have some oats ready to harvest, and I gotta head over to uh, to the local deer dealer. I think Buck's working. He should be working today. Buck, yeah, Buck should be working today. Yes, I am that evil person that backs their cars in their garage. I know it's a crime, but we gotta pick up. I, I gotta figure out what we're gonna do for grain transport. We'll get a couple wagons, possibly. I don't have a hopper for the semi. We gotta get a grain trailer for the semi, that because that'd be super nice to use the semi we have laying around to haul some grain. Oh, also, the uh, the 4755 should be in. We ordered that out of Moline, Illinois, and I think Buck said it should be in today, so we'll see. Oh yeah, looks like it's pretty busy there. They got a new sign, too. Holland and Sons, Inc. Huh. And we gotta buy a combine yet, too. Heck, we didn't even buy that yet. Well, looky there, my favorite John Deere dealer in West B, Wisconsin. No way. How you doing, Buck? Oh, pretty good, pretty good. Got a couple things in today. Think you might be interested in? Is the 47 here? Should be. Drove right by it. It's right behind you. Gosh, they look like 49s. 4440. 40, there she is, the 4755. Yeah. You didn't put any hours on her, did you? Nope, she came right off the truck. That there, she sat there ever since. Nice, nice. Full weights on it. Everything's ready to go on it. Fluids, everything. You know what? You know what you might need. Yeah. You know that whole thing you're talking about for Kinsey. Yeah. Well, Brent's got a competition. Come oh. right back at it. Grain cart. God, I've seen guys run these before. Auger wagon. They call them auger wagon. I thought grain cart. Nope, auger wagon. My grandpa smacked me on that one. Huh. He's trying. To, they're trying to get all the terminology out for it. Yeah. So. Who makes these ones? This one's Brent. It's a grain train series. Brent. It's very. Okay. It's very very new. So, not the cheapest, but they make them out yeah. of Shell, Shell Rock, Iowa. I think, right? The Brents. But it's a 410 bushel cart. It'll get your A to B. You just need something to put it in at the edge of the field, cause, well, it's pretty simple. It's unless you have a very good aim with the auger, you gotta find something to dump it into the. Yeah. Thing with, so you'd probably still want to get some gravity wagons, which we got Killsboro on the other side. How many SCVs does it require? Two or three? Two, it uh, looks like. My look, yeah, yeah, it should be two. PTO doesn't require much horsepower on it, and it's relatively cheap model. It's yeah. nothing too expensive. What do you got these priced at? Okay. Right now, this one's currently listed at 7800 for all of these. They're all spec'd out the same. They're not fancy, but they are yeah. ahead of their time. Well, could you sell a guy a, you call an auger wagon, an auger wagon, and a couple of, uh, God, you don't have many Kilbros wagons. Yeah, I'm getting really good. Like I said, we're still having stuff being shipped in right now. Yeah. We finally got our new service rig in. That's what that is behind you. Oh, okay. Was this, 85? K30? I believe so. That's an 83. No, it might be an 84. Did it come stock with the flatbed, or you guys put that on? No, we had that put on. Same it does sure. have the... A diesel in it, so. Cummins swapped? You guys put Cummins turbo swapped in there? Some ding dong slapped that sticker on the side just for the fun of it. Turbo diesel? Yeah. If we could get, I, I need a grain cart and I need probably two wagons or one. What? Heck, I could probably get away with one wagon. One wagon. Why are you? I get that 350 Carrollsboro over there, the big top and yeah. gravity wagon. Yeah. Because I mean, our, I mean, we, our terrain's just so rough out here with, with the. Uh, it's almost like you'd want an auger wagon. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Okay. Well, we'll do so this uh, combo. I say this combo right here. I will sell you gladly for ten grand. Okay. Yeah. No, that sounds fair. We'll do that. Ten grand on that. And then you, you're still we, gonna need a combine. I know. Don't you? I know. I we well we had a uh, oh an old sixty six hundred. That was a good that was a good running combine. Yeah, these are all seventy. Well, this is a sixty six right here. Gosh. That one actually is rear wheel assist. I think we gotta upgrade to that 77 heart. What 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 model year is this? 80 is it 78? So there are a couple. 78. Years. Gotcha. How many hours you got on? 200. Um, three? this one's got almost 1,200 on the actual engine and 800 on the thresher, which is not bad, or the separator. Okay. But this one has close to almost 3,000 hours. Gosh, darn. Okay. Well. So this will be your better choice in terms of condition wise. I need a I need a combine, so I guess we'll go with this one. I mean, yeah, this is basically like the one we got from the bank last time, which I have no idea why on earth they give us that. Huh. 
Gotcha. What do you got for headers? It's slim picking right now. You guys don't even have any here? We should have a shipment in this afternoon. I just haven't gotten them in yet. Okay. They should be here relatively quick. Gotcha. Well, could you run an eight-row corn head on this? Mm, yes, more okay. than likely you could. It'd be pushing it a little yeah, bit because yeah. of the new stuff they're having come out, but... New Holland oh. and Sons. Holland and Sons. Oh, oh Holland Little Sons. dealer. Little dealer out of Illinois right now. They got a couple stores, mainly down uh, towards the middle of Illinois, but they have a couple of them right on the state line, so they decided to just kind of move into Wisconsin just a bit. Huh. Pretty great thing. It's a really small operation. They're... They're more, they're a lot bigger than the, I believe them. I can't even remember the old guy because I was here for three days before he ended up selling out. But it's a two generation right now. Uh, they're hoping, the, they're hoping if, uh, what's his face, the young guy right now. Yeah. They want to try and keep it going as Holland and Son, but who knows. At least for right now, so. Holland and Son, does that mean cheaper prices? Is that what I'm hearing? I don't know. Is that what I'm hearing? Uh depending on what their employee discount is. <laughs> trying to suck up to the boss and get me a new tractor out here at my place. Well, if you get way, a new tractor, uh, then you'll have to give me the 5020. Gotta get that nope. back. Yes. I actually ended up getting the 4020. You got a 4020? Where yeah. you get, you get, what's that employee discount? The brand new 4755. You got that new cab scent? It smells good, Buck. Good, because I took a dump in there. Oh my. <laughs> Which one? The first one? Yeah, the one that was right next to it. It's got the 1,000 PTO, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Keep coming? Yep. Clutch Oop. is a little sticky. Come on. There you go. Lines are in. PTO's on. Should be good. Good thing we got that front weight in here. Oh, yeah. She's sitting back a little oh, bit. It's looking cute. Well, also, the wheels are... It's just tipping back because the drawbar's low. I think we're going to like this tractor, so I'm thinking we'll put this on the planter, 12-row planter, and then it'll probably be mainly just used for field work and stuff. Silage, we can use it for silage on the chopper. Yeah, and then the, 89, the 8760 will just be our big horse. If you want to pull her around here, we'll just, uh... We can drop her here. I'll put a block underneath the wheel. Hurry it up, Grandma! I'll pull it out. There you go. Good. Well, we got Buck dropped off and then back here somewhere. I got one of these fields back here that are ready for oats. We have some oats that are ready to harvest here. And the money in the right hand corner, that's not our official money. We have to kind of figure out what we're going to be at and then lock in our money. Because when you transfer all this equipment and stuff, it's tough to keep the money the same when you're building new new farm and doing all these terrain edits. So, we'll eventually get our correct money in there. Oh my. Oh my lord. Did he just take out the fence? I think he love tapped the fence a little bit. Oh. Bucky, Bucky. I think what we're going to do is put the 1086 on the wagon since we don't have a hopper trailer for that semi. And then we'll keep the 4755 on the grain cart. There we go. This should be good. Oh, he's got, already got her unloaded. Did you love tap my fence over there? No, I was looking back and I came forward and I thought I was about to hit and I slammed on the brakes. <laughs> Gosh trying darn. To, trying, this trailer's long, man. I was trying not to clip your mailbox. I know, I know. I need to widen it out over there. It's it's tight. It's tight. I'll get you, help you get these straps undone. I just gotta... Well, how are we gonna do this? You want me to move the tractors or...? No, I'll pull forward and then I'm gonna back up and you should be able to just basically ride it, got up right next to it. Okay. So this 7700, this is basically the exact same combine we had back over in Iowa. We we didn't own it. The insurance company gave it to us for a rental just because our 6600, well, somebody put a rock through it. Not gonna name names. There we go. I heard that. What? What? Well, Buck, do you want to run grain cart at all? Uh. You, you don't have to if you gotta get back to work, too. I got off at three, which is 15 minutes. I don't think they're gonna care if I don't come back. Okay, I'll get started on notes, uh, well. I don't have an auger set up for the bins yet, so okay. you'll probably just come back here and just dump into the wagon. We'll fill the wagon, we'll fill the grain cart, and then we'll probably stop for today. I'm hoping we can keep oats in storage, and then if we have to, we can sell them as a commodity. Sell them to the elevator or feed mill, and then 
If not, and we need them for cattle, or for if we decide to get horses, we'll have oats here on the farm. So this should work out pretty good. And I think Buck's probably gonna be sitting and listening to that radio. Make sure the combine's set up for small grains. Chopper is set. Belt tension looks good. Feeder house is set up. I think we should be good. Here, I'll fire up. And then what's nice is we should be able to bail up all this straw coming out the back too. That'll be perfect. Now this is where a side hill combine would be kind of nice. They do make some side hill kits for these combines. This is getting fairly slopey here. It's probably costing us some yield too coming out of the back of the combine there. Seems to be doing a good job though. Hey Buck, you there on the CB? Yeah. Hey. These oats aren't yielding too good. I'm not that full even. If you wanna right. if you wanna head back or heck, I can give you a ride back too. Like I'm pretty I'm gonna be able to fit this whole field in the the auger wagon probably. Whatever works. I yeah. mean I'm not hundred percent sure. I'm already on my way back to uh to where we started basically at the headland. Gosh, I just wish the yield wasn't this bad. I didn't think it was gonna be this bad a yield. Also pulling oats and soybeans. That crop's actual grain size is gonna be a lot a bit smaller than corn. Yeah. Anyways, guys, I think this is gonna be the end of this video. We got a lot of oats to harvest. A lot of heck, we gotta get bailing this up. A lot needs to be done. These are some big fields too. I wasn't expecting this. We might have to be running two combines. We'll see. But anyways, thanks for watching. And hey, we'll see you in the next one.